Welcome our dear viewers. Um, my name is still Waisa Joshua, teacher of social studies. We last stopped when you were looking at the vegetation of Uganda, and that is primary five. Let's continue from where we stopped, our dear viewers. We had looked at, we had explained the vegetation, the, type of, the types of vegetation in Uganda. We mentioned the natural vegetation and the planted vegetation. And furthermore, we went onwards and we looked at uh, the planted vegetation. The definition, the examples of planted vegetation in Uganda. Now, we are going to look at the products got from soft wood. Products. Products got from soft wood. My dear viewers, under this planted vegetation, we told you that we get the product called softy wool. However, there are different products that we do get from the softy wool. The softy wool. We have, number one, we have the papers. Papers. Pencils. Plywood. Plywood. We have also the matchbox. Matchbox. And the softy boards. Softy boards. All of these examples we are seeing, they are products that we get. For example, the papers. We have papers which are always printed. When you see these papers, they are made out of. We might say, how do they make these things? No, after getting, after cutting down these trees, or rather after lumbering, this timber, or rather the wood, is taken to machines for processing. Pencils, the pencils as they are sharpening, still you see that this is a wood. So they just get this, the, the graphite, which is used for making lead pencils, then they are fixed into the pencils, to make the pencils we see today. But however, the out coating that is wood. Matchbox, the matchbox still they have wood. And lastly, I told you the softy boards. So the soft the soft the softy boards at times they are used as ceiling, they are used the, they are used to bake the walls or rather the inside rooms the sound proof. So they use these softy boards. Let's further man we go and go and look at the importance importance of planted forests. My dear learners of primary five who are outside there, we look at that. how are these forests important? How are these planted forests important? One of them, they conserve, or rather, when they say, they modify climate. These forests, they modify climate. You might ask yourself, how do they modify climate? They help in rain formation. Because they are this collection of trees, once sun hits them, they will transpirate. In that process of transpiration, they will, through that process of transpiration, the water vapor will go into the atmosphere or rather the vapor. When it goes, it, for, it reaches the condensation level, then it will condense to form clouds. When clouds are formed, we know very well those are the nimbus clouds. Once they are formed, rainfall is formed. So that's the way how do these forests modify climate. They may ask you a question, how do forests, how do forests modify climate? The answer is, my dear learners, they help in rain formation. How do forests modify climate? Forests modify climate in the way that they help in rain formation. Another one, they provide herbal medicine. They provide 
they provide herbal medicine. The herbalists, or rather the herbal doctors, still they go and gather a lot of things from these forests. They, they, they either they bark the, the, the wood or the bark of these, or the, rather the leaves, or rather the stems, or the roots, different parts are used as herbal medicine. Hence, helping the healing of human beings, or rather the treatment of human beings. Attract. This plant they attract tourists. Very many of you want to see the new forest, the largest plant in the forest, how big it is. So by doing this, this forest they also attract tourists. In the process of what we're attracting the tourists, they earn income or other revenue to the government. Another one. They are homes of wild animals. They are homes of wild animals. As you can't sleep with snakes, you can't sleep with the rabbits, you can't, I mean, you can't sleep with snakes, you cannot sleep with lions. Mention another wild animal you know. These forests act as the habitat for these wild animals. Let's go and look at another thing, the products got from planted trees. Products got from planted trees. We have a variety of products that we do get from these planted trees. One of them we have rubber. Rubber makes it, rubber is a planted tree. But what products do we get from these rubber trees? What product? do we get from these rubber trees? From rubber trees, and we might not have them in Uganda, but if you have data, you might Google, you might Google, you go to, you know, you, you go to Google Play Store, you put in and see rubber. Once you go there, actually, I said, you can Google, you look for this on your phone, on your smartphones. You see these trees, once you place it, then you, they will give you. Rubber. From rubber, we get latex. We get a product called latex. And it's this latex used for making balls. Everyone you have ever seen that rubber thing inside the bowl. It's made out of rubber. Tires. Tires. We have also the rubber rubber bands. These rubber bands, we still we get them for, they are good for rubber. So they are a product, another product we have pickers. Another tree, in another tree, we have ficus in bracket mutuba tree. From this mutuba tree, people get back cloth, back, spell the word, the spelling of back, not the back of our back. The, the behind part of our body. We have this part, back, B-A-R-A-K. We get the back cloth. From the ficus, at times in bracket, this is a vernacular word, motuba tree. This ficus tree is motuba tree, and the product good from this motuba tree is the back 
course. Another product, we have the what another type of tree. We have this called water tree. And the water tree provides these waters, at times they may steal you to match. Rubber, we have seen latex. Ficus, we have seen back cloth. Then water trees, the water trees, they provide tanning. They provide master the spelling of tanning. T A N A I. They provide tanning. Which tanning is used for softening? Used tanning used for softening softening animal animal skin for softening animal skin that's the tanning some of the questions is they can ask from the work we have so far covered one what is the vegetation that is question number one then number two types of vegetation question number two types of vegetation number three they will ask you state any two examples of planted vegetation we covered them in the other topic another one characteristics of planted vegetation as number three number four that, that was number four then number five Mention any two examples of planted forests. Mention any two examples of planted forests in Uganda. Mention any two examples of planted forests in Uganda. Number three could be mention or identify the largest planted forest in Uganda. We covered it in the other previous topic. And the last question will be, how are the water trees important to the people of Uganda? How are the water trees important to the people of Uganda? Another, another example of the planted vegetation, we looked at flowers. We gave flowers and grass grass for example let's look at that grass how are the grass important to the people or rather uses of grass uses in bracket uses of grass the short grass for example the paspara help they help to control soil Erosion. They help to control soil erosion. This grass, for example, the spear grass, they are used for building. Used for building. Building. For example, we have this one thatching houses. Which houses? This the huts h u t s they are used for searching still they are used also as herbal herbal medicine used as herbal medicine then we can go to flowers how are flowers useful uses of flowers automatically people plant flowers in their compounds for different reasons one of the reasons is why they plant such kind of vegetation, in particular the planted vegetation, the example this planted vegetation. We plant them in our compounds. We plant them for decoration. For decoration. There are different kinds of flowers and they are used for decoration. Other flowers, they have good scent. Which scent is very good to our environment? For example, the rose flowers. 
So people plant flowers for decoration, others are used as medicine, other flowers still in that arena, they use them to control soil erosion. Then we look at another thing, another planted vegetation, which are the crops. We have crops. From, this is also plant, people plant crops in their compound. And these crops are, are plants grown for food and income. Crops are plants. What are crops? They may ask you. Crops are plants grown for food and income. Crops are plants grown for food and income. However, growth, crops, these crops are grouped into two. Crops are grouped into two. My dear learners, how are they grouped? We have two groups of these crops and they are grouped into two. One of them we have the traditional cash crops, one traditional traditional cash crops and the two the nanny nanny traditional nanny traditional cash crops traditional cash crops and then traditional cash crops. We are going to define one by one what are the traditional cash crops and what are the non-traditional cash crops. And what are the non-traditional cash crops. Now, traditional cash crops, these are cash crops which are grown mainly for selling. Traditional cash crops, traditional cash crops, traditional cash crops are crops grown mainly for selling or Crops grow mainly for sale or mainly grown for sale. So the main reason why people grow these crops, they grow them. These crops, the farmers grow them mainly for sale. They grow them mainly for Sell. We are going to see them in the next session. That's where we shall be from. Thank you for seeing us. Thank you for viewing us. I love you very much. I'm teacher. I'm teacher Joshua. Why by the names? Bye bye.